Hello everyone, this is RTR Football Manager speaking and yes, you are back for another player review and I'll be doing some of the um, player reviews that I've actually posted on my blog. Now that's because uh, I've since I've been doing videos for the recent ones like Alan Smith, Gareth Bale, I thought I would just go over to the past and just pick up players that I've actually talked in my blog before but they have no videos and yes, Ralph van der Vaart is one of them. Oh man, and this really gives me a good breather because now I'm in my new job and I've been working to a little late. So my time with the computer, my own personal computer is actually very limited. And oh well, it just gives me a good breather um, before the real deal comes along which is FM2011 demo. Alright, and yes, without further ado, let me just show you Raphael van der Vaart. This is how I actually got him. Yes, he, the standard that he actually got when I first purchased him at the start of the second season. Alright, <laughs> he looks really, really fantastic and he was on loan. Um, because Real Madrid actually put him as a free transfer. And so um, I just picked up the chance to um, get him and loan him for a season. I did not have, actually I have funds to buy him but I just didn't want to waste money and so um, loaning him for a season is good enough. And if you are in a similar situation, uh, you want a player, uh, a quality player but you just don't have enough funds and you want to loan a player, Rafael van der Vaart is very good for that. Just go Real Madrid, he's usually free transferred at the start of the season, alright? I wonder why Real Madrid always free transfers him, but that's how it goes. And yes, this is his stats. You wanna see how his stats look like after, you know, the whole season? Alright, here we go! Alright, let me drag this little picture away. Whoa, woo! And he decreased all his statistics. <laughs> He decreased all his attributes and uh, I do not know why actually. He's playing playing a lot and sometimes you know you get some enigmas from um from football manager. You play this player a lot, you can see that I've played him like twenty-two times uh regularly and thirteen times with um you know as a substitute. And yet his attribute decreases. Now some speculate that sometimes you overwork a player, uh they get Poorer and I might agree, uh, but this is Rafael van der Vaart and I thought that he should be quality all the time. Uh, others speculate that uh, because uh, they may improve on two-leggedness and so the attributes actually drop. Uh, I have no basis to believe of that yet, but I might subscribe to some of these speculations. Uh, if you actually know about it, let me know. All right, and yes, uh, <laughs> he is quite. Well, I'm not gonna post this update for my for my blog so much because I usually don't post um, stats that are decreasing. Um, that's because you know Rafael van der Vaart is actually a very established player, so when the, he decreases in stats, usually they'll bounce back up again after a while, and you know you just waste time talking about him when it's not really um, very consistent if it goes up and down all the time. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I'll not be actually updating too much on my blog. Uh, probably just put up the, this video. Um, but um, really, uh, Rafael van der Vaart is a very good player at the start of the season. And uh, to your dismay, he may take a little while to adapt to your club. Um, because, you know, he's more of an attacking midfielder than a central midfielder. You can see that his marking and tackling stats are you know, horrendous. And if you really put him uh, as your, you know, a very, what you call that, conventional midfielder, you are going to suffer because um, your players will just run past him and he won't be doing anything about it. Look at his marking and tackling. Yes, and so um, you prefer him to be a full-fledged uh, attacking midfielder at all times. Uh, but he really gives the attacking edge uh, to the club and um, to my team and you can see that at some point uh, he actually really scored goals like 5 goals and 7 assists with a uh, man of the match and so Rafael Benova is a very technical player plus the fact that he does well at you know, set piece with corners, crossing, free kick, you know, and long shots you can see him 19 
uh, yeah, and you can see that um, he has his use, and he is quite rude. Uh, but if you just put him at a conventional central midfielder role, uh, I doubt he's gonna be performing as well as he should. All right, and so keep in mind uh, about that. And if you really want to purchase him, uh, and you can afford to, um, put him at the attacking midfield. All right, or um, just ask your other the other central midfielder if you're playing four four two. Just uh, ask your uh, other central defender to actually do more work in defending while he attacks, alright, as a holding, yeah, for the other player to play as a holding player. And right right now, uh, let me just get to the positions to let you see how good is he, alright. Now, in my club, uh, he's playing as a uh, midfielder cent central, and yes, his preferred position is actually um, attacking midfielder. Yes, this is natural and accomplished. Now, he's very, very two-legged, so... um. That is good because it doesn't matter whether he comes from the left or the right. He is dangerous at all times. And um, he has good preferred moves, tries killer balls often, and shoots from distance. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the stats. Um, that was not stats, but his personality. Let me just see his determination. Yeah, he has quite a good determination at 15. 15 is generally very, very good. Influence 13, uh, not too bad as well. Alright, he's uh, very ambitious player you can see here and that's good because that makes uh, him want to improve himself and so you wouldn't worry about him decreasing in stats all right seriously he'll work uh, his way up and push forward and last but not least let me just get to the uh, personality all right you can see that Rafael van der Vaart is an ambitious individual and is always looking to win and that's a good trait for any footballer yes he is really really good and Feel free to get him, yeah, <laughs> at all times. All right, uh, just be a little bit more careful if you're playing him as central midfielder, as he might just allow the opposition to run past him while they attack. All right, and uh, that's all from me. Stay tuned for more videos, and if you like my my uh, channel, I am my or if you like my uh, my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at RTR Football Manager, or you can visit my blog at footballmanagersite.com and yes I see you next time alright and soon I'll give you a little update on uh, the purchase of uh, yeah the, my, my pre-order on FM2 drone 1 I just haven't got down to it yet and but you'll see it soon alright okay see you guys